Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa and I have a haul video for you. Uh, most of the stuff that I bought is stuff I bought at a rummage sale yesterday, um, but I also did hit a thrift store and pick up a few things there as well. Um, I'm trying to remember how much I spent. I think I spent um, $14.40 at the rummage sale and $14 at the thrift store. Um, my money went a lot further at the rummage sale because things were very reasonably priced, so um, I did pretty well. So I'm going to show you that stuff first. Um, it's a combination of stuff, uh, some vintage stuff and some stuff to go on Amazon, uh, maybe even some eBay stuff. Um, I picked up this. It's a uh, vintage souvenir tray from Grand Teton Natural National Park in uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Um, it was priced at 10 cents, so uh, that's a good deal. I've sold, um, this is a, an, an older type of tray, it was made in Japan. Um, I've sold one of the same style tray, not from the same place. Um, the one I sold was from, I think, Wildwood, New Jersey. Um, but that's something to go on Etsy. Well, this was for myself, it was just some lotion for 50 cents. This is a vintage card game called Flinch. I don't know anything about it. I have no idea how much I spent for it, but I know it was cheap. Um, I will have to go through it and see if all those cards are there. Oh, I picked this up for 10 cents. This is a, a personal thing too for carving pumpkins. Uh, couldn't beat the price. Brand new. This was a, a weird purchase. I bought five of these. Um, they were 10 cents a piece. Um, they're vintage packages of uh, gauze, like medical gauze. Um, it's kind of a cool vintage retro packaging there. Um, and I don't know. I'm going to put them on Etsy and see if someone is interested in them. Um, it might be good for a display of some sort, or who knows? I don't know what people would do with them, but for 10 cents a piece, hey, I figured I would try them. Um, I got some books. I haven't actually checked these, um, but this is one on Somerset County, which is in New Jersey. Um, I got a quilting book, quilt masterpieces. This one was actually for myself. Well, I think it'll be for myself. Um, it's, it's different sewing projects. They look kind of cute. One yard wonder, so you don't need a lot of fabric to make them. And um, yeah, they look like they could be fun. Uh, art book, Impressionists in Winter. Yeah, I think this is another art book. Yeah, it's uh, it's in like a slipcase, like a cardboard slipcase. But it's the wares of the Ming Dynasty. Oh, this was for me. Um, they're, they're just little... Um, little bowls like good for soup or chili or something like that. Um, I don't believe they've ever been used, but one of them is missing. Um, so, uh, so there's only three here, but then I got another set of them too. So uh, kind of cool. Let me get this, because these are on top here. Okay, I gotta find the other piece to this, which is in here somewhere, so. I just picked up one of these somewhere not too long ago. Um, this one's a bigger one, but it's one of those chicken glass dishes, um, <coughs> covered dishes, uh, get out of the way there. But uh, yeah, kind of cool, 50 cents, I'm gonna try and sell it on Etsy. Okay, here's the other piece to this set. Um, so there are three of these guys, one's a, um, you know, like a bottle opener, one's a corkscrew, and one is a cork. Um, so pretty cool, painted wood, um, little people. And then they have a stand that they go in, but the stand is, it's like a little bench and it's actually falling apart. I think I can get this back together. It's just that the, where it was tacked together has come out. Um, but yeah, they had a price of $3.25 on here. And uh, the ladies that were ringing me up were like, oh, well that's too much. How about $2? So I was like, okay. Um, I wasn't even trying to bargain with them, but they figured that was too much money for it. So uh, yeah, that'll go on Etsy. Um, if I can fix the bench, I will sell them with the bench, and if not, I'll sell them without. Um, I, I think it'll go either way. This is another craft kit, um, needlepoint kit for making a pillow, actually. Or, well, I guess you could do anything you want with it, because I think it's just, um, I think it's just the the panel. But anyway, um, raccoons. Um, so should do well. It's it's taped back up, but everything is here. It hasn't been sewn or anything. And that'll go in Etsy. Um, I got some of these. They're old Fisher Price um, toys, wood with plastic. This one's a fire engine, and uh, it's got a little bell on there. I don't know if that actually rings. Um, this probably had a piece of plastic at the end of it, I'm guessing, and that has come off. Um, and this looks like it might have had more going across there. Um, 
But yeah, cool, older. I've sold a number of these older Fisher Price things before, so I should be able to sell this too. Um, this one's dated 1968 on the side here. Got this one here. It is an old Fisher Price train. This one's dated 1964. Um, wood and plastic. Um, probably it had train cars at one time, but I looked and I could not find any train cars there um, at the sale. So uh, I don't know what happened to the rest of the cars. And uh, this one here is a clown in a jalopy. Um, is there a date on this one? Well, this one I do not see a date on, but um, again, it's wood and plastic with the lithos on the wood there. So uh, pretty cool. And uh, I got some playing cards. I, I know uh, Thrifty Teresa pointed out that I'm always selling playing cards. Well, I have a lot of playing cards. Um, so I have a lot of unsold ones too. Um, and I don't know how much I paid for these decks because they were all, you know, they weren't marked and obviously I didn't pay a lot for everything. Um, so I got a pinochle deck here um, that's got a cute illustration, like a farm illustration there on it. Then I got this one, looks like maybe a game of hearts, or no, I don't know what this is, um, but it's got all these cool characters on them, Harry Yeehaw, Kate Kiss Me, um, maybe it's a game of Old Maid, um, I really have no idea, I will try to figure out what that is. Um, but great vintage illustrations on there, so I should be able to sell that on Etsy. This is really adorable, I thought. Um, they're beat up, but um, this is a game of Old Maid because I just saw the Old Maid in here. Um, but it's all these cute things like Rockabye Baby on the treetop, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. But yeah, great vintage illustrations on these. Here's the directions. It's a game of Old Maid. Um, and, and this is the back of the cards. It's got like a little uh, signpost street sign there. So yeah, I will have to check and see if everything's here. It looks like there's some that don't even belong well. I don't know what's going on there. I will see what's going on. By the way, if you wind up with um, some like, you know, random cards, like it looks like I might with that set that don't really go with anything and there's only like a handful of them, you can still sell those on Etsy. Um, people use them for crafting and stuff. Um, so I would, I would try to get at least a few together um, to put them together in a lot and, and sell them that way. You won't get as much as you'll get for a full deck of cards, but you can still make some money that way. Um, and this looks like there are two decks. Um, one has a kitty and one has a little puppy dog on it. And uh, they're pretty cute. I will, again, I'll have to check and make sure all the cards are here. They're beat up, but um, they do have a nice vintage illustration on them. And this is another thing that looks like it's two decks because it's really thick here. Um, yeah, they have a western illustration. This one's got a, a cactus there on it, and, and this one's got like a monument, a little like building there. Um, so yeah, some cowboy cards. Oh, this is not for me. I forgot I got this. Um, it's a guitar capo, and um, I didn't know if my boyfriend wanted it, if he needed it at all, but I couldn't beat the price. I think it was like 10 cents or something like that, so. And it, it looks like it was never used. Beautiful condition. Old, but, uh, but nice. If not, I'll sell it. Yeah, this is a, a, a never used thing. I didn't even scan this, but I figure I could uh, sell it on Amazon maybe, um, if not eBay. Um, it's it's Tacky Mac Pro um, for I believe yes for racquetball so uh, for your handle for your grip on racquetball handles there Pick these up thought I might be able to sell them they're just little uh, display stands they're plastic clear plastic they are older um, so I could sell them on uh, I'm not gonna try and put them together now but. Um, it says there's a set of six originally. I feel like maybe some of them are missing, but um, I could sell them on Etsy. I might sell them on eBay. Um, you know, they're good for holding like a little plate or even like a picture or something. Um, this I just bought for me. It's uh, it's cards. I like to make cards and uh, 25 greeting cards and envelopes. So uh, it's a good deal. Oh, and I bought this for myself too. It's just a journal for uh, for 10 cents. Can't beat the price. Oh, that's another journal for 25 cents. This one is Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, like the worst stuff. Kind of weird. I don't know what this is, um, but it was like 10 cents, so I figured I'm going to look it up and see if I can sell anything, sell it or anywhere. Um, looks like it might have been part of a set. It's got a name at the bottom of it. Kama, Kama High? I don't know. I'm going to have to look up, figure what that is. 
Um, and then there's something on the bottom here, and it says made in Hawaii, so um, yeah, there might be some value in it, I don't know. This is a never used, never open package of UNO cards, um, although it's made in India, that's unusual. Um, there is no barcode on it, so I'm not sure what I'm doing with this, but that was cheap too. I mean, there's a $2 price tag on here, but that wasn't from the sale. Got this little cozy guy. He looks to be vintage, although he's handmade. Um, I don't know if it's a tea cozy or just like a, or just a cover um, that you would use in your kitchen, you know. But uh, for decorative, there's this. Uh, there he is there. But um, yeah, it's cute, and I think I can sell that on Etsy. Got a trivet. Um, nothing that exciting. It's older, made in Japan. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, at first, I thought it was chives. And it might be, it might be something else, it might be something that's uh, not too common, I don't know. I'll have to like Google image search and see if I can figure it out. So maybe chives, but maybe something else. Uh, but just a vintage trivet there to go on Etsy. Some new sealed puzzles that'll go um, off to Amazon, um, I think. I haven't actually scanned them, but uh, this one's a bits and pieces brand puzzle, just a good brand, um, and never use sealed. It's a 500 piece puzzle, I think. I don't know what it is. Oh yes, 500 pieces. Um, this one is a, a spherical globe puzzle, also sealed, 540 pieces. And um, hopefully I can sell that on Amazon. I didn't really scan anything when I was at the sale. It was a it was a tightly packed uh, tightly packed quarters. I've been to the sale before. It's local, and um, yeah, they don't have a lot of room, but they always have a lot of stuff, and they have great prices, so can't beat it. Um, I didn't really know if there was any value in this, but it was like 10 cents, so I was like, eh, I'll take a chance. It's Yu-Gi-Oh cards, um, sealed, so uh, I might go on eBay. Um, here's a notebook I just got for myself. I liked it. Um, it's got plain white pages. I don't know what Forio is, but I guess that's the brand name on it, but white, kind of got a texture. Nice, nice for writing or something. And, well, I told you about these, but here they are. Here's the other um, bowls. These ones are yellow, the other ones are red. This one's a four-piece set, all four here. Um, it was originally, somebody bought it at Marshall's for $4.99, and then I guess never used it. Um, I'll probably use it, so. Anyway, that is not everything I bought at the Roman Shell, because there's one more thing. Um, one last thing, a trivet um, or spoon wrist, uh, 10 cents. It's resin with, um, I don't know if you can see it behind the price tag there, but there's a butterfly and a flower in there. Um, yeah, it's nothing exciting, but uh, I should be able to sell it on Etsy. There were a few chips along the bottom here, but um, the top is fine. And uh, resin stuff seems to sell on, on Etsy. I've sold a few different resin pieces, so that is everything I got at the rummage sale. And I'll show you the thrift store stuff, which is not very many things. Okay, not everything is here that I got at the thrift store. Just about everything is. But there was a book that I bought for myself that I'm reading, so it's not in here. Um, this one I did not buy for myself, Edward the Caresser. Um, anyway, the Playboy Prince who became Edward the Seventh. Uh, that is going to go on Amazon. Um, so a million dollars worth of nerve. Uh, paperback book. Um, it's a somewhat obscure topic, so kind of thing I like. 21 people who helped to power Black Bottom, Paradise Valley, and Detroit's Lower East Side. Um, so probably not a lot of copies of that in print. And um, fired up, frantic, and freaked out. Uh, Jack, I got a book for you now. Um, so uh, about excitable and kind of crazy dogs. Um, Jack's not that bad. Oh, this is something I got for myself, a um, pair of earrings there. I, I just liked them, they're pretty rainbow. I think they were, they were $3.50, so kind of pricey for thrift store earrings, but um, they were nice. So, um, $4 on this, it's a Hannah Montana Uno spin game. I feel like it seems really familiar to me. I think I might have sold this game once before, having picked it up at a thrift store. Um, I'm not sure. And then I got... Um, also sealed, not very exciting, it's just a really cheap game of chess, like the plastic pieces. Um, and it was three dollars, um, but I can make money selling it on Amazon, so that is what I will do. Um, one dollar for a blank sealed uh, TDK Pro tape, um, cassette tape. 
So um, that'll go on Amazon. I think they're going for like $12 or something like that um, on Amazon. So yeah, that is everything I got. So uh, so yeah, not bad for altogether between the rummage sale and the thrift store. I think like $28, $20.40. Um, so yeah, I think I will be able to do pretty well with those items. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, my name's Alyssa. I put out new videos um, on selling on Etsy and selling elsewhere online, Amazon and eBay, um, and make haul videos from time to time. Um, so yeah, uh, I also put out videos every week on the vintage items I sold on Etsy. Uh, in my vintage Etsy shop, Planet Alyssa. So if you like this video, um, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this video or comment below. Um, okay, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're finding some cool treasures out there when, uh, when you're out shopping. Okay, see you again soon.